Arthur's Reading Race by Mark Brown, narrated by me. Arthur learned to read in school. Now Arthur reads everywhere. He reads in the car. He reads in bed. He reads to his puppy pal. Arthur even reads to his little sister, D.W. One day Arthur said, I can teach you to read, too. I already know how to read, said D.W. You do not, said Arthur. Do, too, said D.W. Prove it, said Arthur. Read ten words, D.W., and I'll buy you an ice cream. D.W. stuck out her hand. It's a deal, she said. Let's go. They raced to the park. Arthur pointed to a sign. What's that say? he asked. Zoo, said D.W. Easy as pie. I spy three words, said Arthur. Me too, said D.W. Taxi, gas, milk. Arthur stepped off the curb. Look out, said D.W. It says don't walk. You could get hit by a car. All right, Miss Smarty Pants. What's that say? asked Arthur. Police, said D.W. And you better keep off the grass or the police will get you. Bank, said D.W. I have a bank. I hide my money in it so you can't find it. Bank makes eight words. We're almost home, said Arthur. Too bad you only read eight words. No ice cream for you today. Hold your horses, said D.W. I spy ice cream. Hot dog! I read ten words. Let's eat. D.W. and Arthur ran to the ice cream store. Arthur bought two big cones. Strawberry for D.W. and chocolate for himself. Yummy, said D.W. Arthur sat down. Sit down with me, said Arthur, and I'll read you my book. No, said D.W., I'll read you the book. Arthur shook his head. I don't think so, he said. There are too many words that you don't know. D.W. laughed. Get up, Arthur. Now I can teach you two words that you don't know, said D.W. Wet paint. The End